Hey guys, what's up? My name is Obi Mendes, and today is gonna be freaking awesome. Now, that's right, I prepared a little challenge, and this one is called Spin the Wheel. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the concept because I've seen some other YouTubers doing the same thing. And first, I was like, I wanted to avoid the content that everybody is making. But in the meanwhile, I'm also a little bit lost in ideas. So, if you got an idea for the next challenge, drop it down below. But try to be creative so um i got an app and it's called wheel and on this app i selected all different genres stuff i can probably create i'm not sure so it goes from trends to future bass to cinematic music to future house uh, trap music a uh, hard style uh, drum and bass a uh, progressive house uh, tech house trends and yeah then we're back at the start so the idea here is very simple i'm gonna press spin spin a couple times and wherever the uh yeah the wheel is stopping that's the style i'm gonna create for this video so i'm actually very excited let's give it a spin here and uh here we go okay <laughs> it's gonna be trends did i ever make trends I think I did, like back in the days. I, yeah, with the. Yeah, it's okay. Well, well, trends. Trends! Tr trends it is! Let's start creating trends, but first I have to Google what's the typical BPM for trends. I believe it's 140, but trends BPM. And I also have to listen to one example so I can get like a feel because I honestly never listen to trends music, so that is gonna be quite. Uh, it's between 135 and 150. So I uh, listened to a couple of songs. I couldn't show them because of the copyright issues. But um, I think I got uh, inspired a little bit. But uh, for the BPM, I think we're going to use uh, 140. Um, yeah, just going to use 140. I think I'm going to use a lot of Spire today because Spire is, in my opinion, really that trancy synth. And I believe I got some of those. Yeah, I believe it's this back. Got those. Um, trancy sounds, so, um, yeah, I guess I should try and see whatever. Actually, that can work. Wait. Ooh! If we repeat this, do I, do I really get lucky straight away? As in for like a little break. So, um, imagine this. And then from this part, you're gonna switch like the root note, aka the bass line, to for example. Uh... Dun, dun. Dun. Dun, dun. Yeah, okay, so we go to down. So. Yeah, that can work. Well, this I was like, what, why is it clashing so much? But it was because of the first pattern was in between the second. Let's listen in one more time. I think it's nice, but if we can make like a little variation, maybe we should bring this back. Ooh, smooth. This is nice. I, I got a pack. It's from uh, Echo Soundworks, and it's called it's called X Keys, and I love all these sounds. 
They are very... Yeah, organic. Ooh. That's actually really nice. That is actually very epic. Um, okay, so I'm gonna cut out the rhythm and just gonna keep it straight. Gonna take out the middle ones, put it one octave higher so it, it spreads out the chord a little bit. And I'm gonna double the root notes like this. I'm gonna do it like that. One octave lower. One note in between. I think we should go for like this one. Well, we're gonna use a different piano. Uh, I know exactly which one we need to take. It's from Nexus and it's called the Modern Piano. That really has a, a very uh, trancy sound. Oh, Modern Piano. I think that's cool. I have no idea how this arrangement is working in trance. Okay, I'm gonna cut out the middle ones. I thought it was nice, but it's actually not. So we need a one more lead, or maybe even two, one or two more leads. I think we also need a string, but for like a lead, I was thinking of um... I'm actually not sure about the piano chords. I mean, they sound nice, but it doesn't really fit the vibes. Maybe we should just go for like a re space or something. We're gonna combine those sounds from what I maybe use in Future House or in Progressive House into this. So um, let me actually take a. Yes. Simply space, yeah. This this back is very nice. It has those very organic, weird sounds. One well, nice. Filter a little bit. Like that. Sparkle maybe. That's nice. We need to play like a some sort of stringy sound or like a yeah, let me find one. I believe in Flex there's a sound, it's called string theory. Um favorites. String theory. Let me actually try to... So, and then the second round we're gonna uh, put an... Uh, or we're gonna create like a chord with this uh, string. So we're gonna play something on, on top. So just to demonstrate you, that would be... Um, can you play? Yeah. And then the second round. Something like that, maybe. You know, so that really builds such a...
can work and then the uh, fades down. And then for this, because now that is constantly playing the same, we're also going to play a harmony on top. I think that can be really mm. nice if you do it the right way. Let me create that with a piano quickly. So we can do like... That's nice. Should end on a dun 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 on that one. But I love this vibe. Uh, I do want to try to uh, make this into a. Uh, like I want to apply like a strain. How long are we in? Let's check in. 30, 20, 38, which is actually minus two minutes because I did the intro and already stage this project, so probably around twenty six minutes, I guess. So we got this very nice uh, staccato sound, this one. Higher. The only problem is that it usually is a bit too late. Like. Can you do a stray drop into trance? Alright, I reckon I'm gonna do that. It's gonna Okay, I'm, I don't care if, it, if if that is a thing in trance or not, but it's, I'm just gonna do what I think is good. So what I want to do, this is very emotional. So I reckon we should search for a nice trance kick. Now I know that trance kicks are definitely not my favorite kicks. I'm not gonna lie. I Let me quickly open up Splice for it because honestly, I have zero trance sounds at least not from recent stuff so i'm gonna type in trance so this is probably my kick i guess i'm gonna do something which is or dumb or can be lift up the track a lot so since we're gonna do like a straight baseline drop that's at least what i think can work out very well um we need um like a different key because if you're gonna on a C, it's either too low or too high. So what I want to try to do is to uh, change the key. Save new version. Uh, this is going to be pain in the ass, but yeah. Okay. So uh, I think we're going to put it one higher. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. All right. We change the key now. It still has the same energy. Alright, what I reckon is that we should leave or like slowly bring in the string because the string theory, the first one we added, doesn't have the attention what it should have. Right, so what I want to do is uh, go into this one and make it a clone. Gonna cut out the reverb. I'm gonna do the reverb separately so we can control it a bit better. What I want to try to do is to make it a bit shorter. And make it really into the face. 
distortion maybe some saturation I'm just gonna do what I feels good and not gonna listen to examples because I think that can also give like a um, unique combination because obviously this is not gonna it's not trendy trendy how it should be but it's just gonna be maybe a cool crossover so I'm gonna use a bit of sound glasses to create a bit of the nice warm low we combine it uh, with uh, a slap bass I think I have to stop. Yeah, it's 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 one hour. One hour in, one hour in. Um let's have a little listen. Okay, so this is what I made within one hour. Uh I made trends, I think. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what do you reckon? What what is this stuff? I have no idea, but I had a lot of fun making it, so that's the most important. I love the break from what I remember, but let's have a little cheeky listen. Hopefully my CPU will survive. Wow, <laughs> yo, this is yo, this is crazy. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I don't know if this drop is any trends or if this breaks any trends, but I love this part. Sick. It's sick. You know, like, that's why I love these challenges. I always have no clue what I'm going to create. Uh, this is definitely not what I expected when I started this challenge, when I knew, okay, I'm going to make trends. But at some point, when I was kind of like finishing the break, the idea, when I heard this... You know, like, I, I knew that I should do something with a straight bass. It's, it's more like side trance or something. But then side trance is faster, I think. I think the drop is, is, is cool, but at this part point, I become a bit static, so I can probably in, uh, fix a little bit in the rhythm and stuff. But other than that, I, I like it. And I know that the arrangement is a bit off because I made like a very short build up, which is not like usual, I think, in trance. Um, but uh yeah simply because i run out a little bit of time uh i just tried uh, to make a short bit up uh, but anyways um i'm i'm really happy that i made this this challenge a go 
Um, for future challenges, like I said in the beginning, drop it down in the comments. Uh, it's always welcome if you got some uh, cool ideas. Um, and yeah, this was the video for this week, guys. Man, Trance and Robbie Mendes. Who knows? I love melodies, and Trance is all about an emotion. So in that way, it's a great combination. Who knows? In the future, I will make more Trance. But anyways, like always, if you liked the video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. It's all fine. But for now, I want to thank you for watching this video. And hopefully, I check you in a brand new video next week. Peace.